Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today, if you guys, this is another Star Wars video. And first and foremost, happy uh, Star Wars Day. May the 4th or Force, you know, be with you. May the 4th be with you, I should say. And uh, I guess tomorrow is um, Revenge of the 5th, or uh, there's always a bigger 5th. Uh, something like that, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, today is Star Wars Day, and this is gonna have a good video, and then, or, you know, good point, and then a bad point. So, of course, we're gonna start out with a good point, is that you guys know me, all Star Wars is good, I love every, I'm talking strictly canon, I don't know anything about Legends, really, I have the Force Unleashed game, but that's about it. All canon Star Wars is good, in my opinion. I love the prequels, I love the originals, I love the sequels, I love all the animated shows, the live action shows, the comics, the video games, the, the books... All of it is perfect that I have ever seen. Yes, I have problems with the prequels in terms of their writing and acting, but I do love them. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't loathe the prequels. And I think that today is just a great reminder for me, uh, you know, if you truly like Star Wars, if you love a certain aspect of Star Wars, if you really love the sequels, or if you really love the originals, whatever, you know, make sure to subscribe, because, man, I freaking love all Star Wars. Trust me, it's all fantastic, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, hey, for me, every day is Star Wars Day, but, hey, new Kenobi trailer came out as well. I'm going to have that trailer linked down in the description below. Uh, looks really effing cool. Pretty cool to see, you know, young young Luke. Um, Obi-Wan Kenobi looks really cool. The acting writing looks really good compared to the prequels. And I don't know, man, it just looks insane. Um, I really cannot wait for this show. I believe May 26th or May 27th. Um, it's in the end of the trailer. Again, link down below. I'm also going to have my Kylo Ren video. Hopefully, if I can link all this stuff, I got a lot of college work, so forgive me if I miss something. But I'm going to have a lot of Star Wars videos down in the description below, so make sure to go watch all those if you haven't already or if you just want to uh, rewatch them. But yeah, that's it. Good news. I love everything Star Wars. Happy Star Wars Day. It's just a fantastic franchise. Um, and I really just can't get enough of it. You know what I mean? Every single time I, I hear the word Star Wars, I'm like, yes, let's go. You know what I mean? It's awesome. And I cannot wait for the future. Um, so yeah, on to the bad news. And this is, of course, regarding Lego Star Wars and Skywalker Saga. A lot of you guys have been telling me, hey, franchise, I've had no issues with this game. This game is perfectly fine. I've had no issues. It's perfect. No bugs, no glitches, nothing. It's great. And I'm effing jealous because, look, when in terms of glitches for myself, um, there's a few things. One is um, when you're stuck in, like, a ship, you're just kind of, you can't move. Of course, you all know about the sky flicker. And then we also have the, uh, there's another glitch where, for some reason, when they play, like, the intro cinematic with, you know, the, the really cool recap of all the movies, um, if there are no subtitles during that, uh, the game will not load. It's just it's infinitely loading on the loading screen. So then you have to freaking quit the game, go back in, and then when you see subtitles, then you're good. So there's a lot of broken aspects of this game. And uh, the other bad news is that, uh, you know, it, kind of like a, I guess, an extension of a, a, of a previous video, that TT games are horrible at communicating. We all know this. But, uh, I mean, it's gotten to a point where if you go on TT games or Lego Star Wars game or any, you know, the, the, the related corresponding Twitter accounts... Every single comment, 99% of the comments are, fix the game, fix the game, fix the game, fix the game, where's the patch, where's the patch, where's the update, fix the game. It's ridiculous. The amount of people are just saying, pick, you know, patch this broken product. And I'm glad some of you guys aren't having any issues. I'm having a few, and honestly, every time I play the game and I get the sky flicker, I immediately turn it off about 10 minutes later. I cannot play this game for more than 20 minutes or 10 minutes. It's just that bad of flickering. Um, so I'm waiting on an update. And some people can't progress in the game. They can't, you know, either you're the, you know, dumb little things like the faces are missing. Or, you know, you're sinking through the ground or a crash. You know, that stuff, it's bad, but it's not the end of the world. But some people, like the Maz Kanata glitch, or the, there's a glitch with the high ground, or there's the Endor speeder chase on Endor, where you're in the speeder bike and it just a, it blows up. This game is just broken. <laughs> it's broken. And uh, the bad news is that TT Games doesn't, they don't like to communicate. I've tweeted all the devs, I've tweeted the support team, I've tweeted everyone I can, so have millions of other people. I mean, there are people literally trying to, like, sue them, because, think about it like this. If you bought a car for full price, and you're like, alright, this is a cool car, you know, it's cool. And then you get in the car, and then you're driving home, and all of a sudden the brakes don't work. And then the steering wheel falls off, and then the engine blows up. You're going to want a refund, right? Like, you don't, you're not just stuck with a broken car, like, you get the car fixed someone fixes your car or you get a new car. Same exact, of course it's a little different, but same exact thing here. I paid 70 bucks for a game that is supposed to work, it does not work, it has a lot of issues, and effectively all the, the only thing TT Games did is uh, take our money and run. So, point of the being is, with this bad news, is that 
the game is very broken for uh, a lot of people, a little broken for me, and, uh, you know, it, it does suck. You know, like, all we're asking for is just a little communication. Hey, the patch is coming blank. That's all we need. But instead, they choose to ignore us. Uh, either they're all brain dead, they don't know how to fix a damn game, and they're like, we don't know what to do! Keep posting gifts! Or they're just working on it very slowly, and they don't know how to communicate when it's coming effectively. Um, either way, it's not a good situation, and it, it's very, uh... It, it, it's kind of destroying the reputation because every single, literally, don't, if you don't believe me, go on Twitter. Every single reply is, where's the patch? Where's the patch? It's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. And everyone at TT should be ashamed of themselves for not getting a patch out. All these game-breaking bugs should not be there essentially a month after game release. It's horrible, and it's inexcusable, inexcusable, and it's just a big, big F-up in terms of uh, marketing, in terms of communication, in terms of, you know, oh, the game sold really well. That's good. Got pretty good reviews, that's good, but how about you patch the game now, you know what I mean? Some people can't even play the game because they're stuck, you know, so it's just a horrible situation, and uh, I had to bring it up like a part two thing, but again, I'm really, really, really trying not to bring down Star Wars Day, but, you know, it's true, like, we need solid communication about this this patch, we need a patch, and we need it freaking quickly, but other than that, Happy Star Wars Day. We have the Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer. Very cool. Again, that will be linked down below. And uh, tell me in the comments down below what your favorite Star Wars film is and why. Again, mine is The Last Jedi, and you guys know that for a plethora of reasons. Uh, but I love them all. I love 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I love Clone Wars, Rogue One, Solo. I love the TV. I love it all. All of it that I've ever consumed. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a, you know, blind loving. I genuinely have reasons why I love all of Star Wars. I'm not a blind sheep, and I'm not just a blind hater or blind lover. I, I genuinely have reasons why I love this stuff. So again, I didn't want to bring this video down, but it had to be said. The communication is god-awful, and we need some kind of, uh, you know, marketing, or not marketing, we need communication, I should say, um, as soon as we can, because the, the state this game is in for myself and a, a lot of other people it's unplayable, it's broken, and it is just destructively... It's effectively stealing. Like, they took our money, and they said, Well, we got your money, we don't need to fix it, you know? And I'm sure they will fix it, I'm sure they're working on a patch, but it shouldn't take a freaking month or at least four or three weeks to get a patch up for bugs that should have been squashed before the game came out. So, anyway, good news. Happy Star Wars Day. We got Obi-Wan coming out. We got a bunch more awesome Star Wars stuff coming up soon. Hopefully, we'll get more sequel trilogy content. And hey, if you're having any problems with LEGO Star Wars, tell me in the comments. But hey, you know, for me, I, I don't really have that many issues. But, uh, you know, the Sky Flicker for me just instantly kills all the fun after 10 minutes. Um, it's just, bam, 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 you know, it's really effing bad. And uh, other people have the issue. It's not just me. But uh, yeah, good news. Happy Star Wars Day. Obi-Wan's coming out. I cannot wait for that. And uh, again, there's a lot to celebrate, a lot to love about this franchise. And uh, I did not want to bring this video down. I'm, I really tried not to make this a downer of a video, honestly. But um, I feel like this had to be said because it's kind of weird. You know, no other YouTubers are talking about this. They're all like, oh, this game is the best. And it's, it's like, are, are you not having issues? Like, I was watching Blitzwinger and Jay Shock Blast. Bigger YouTubers than me, they have the flicker, and they have crashes. Apparently, they don't care. I don't know. But again, this this needs to be said. Um, for a lot of people, this game is broken. And I don't know what TT are doing. Maybe they're picking their noses. I don't know. But, uh, you know, get a patch out ASAP. This is horrible, and we need a fix uh, right freaking now. But other than that, um, other than the bad news that is this LEGO Star Wars patch, um, what a great day, you know I mean, to just be reminded that Star Wars is such a great franchise. You know, we got... I grew up in the prequels. And, of course, you know, I wasn't allowed to see them until I was, like, 12, 13, of course, because they're, in my opinion, don't kill me, they're not for kids. Um, but with all of this stuff going on, man, I love the prequels, the originals. I, You know, the, when, the, when Episode 7 came out, this is kind of when my love for Star Wars really, like, pfft, went, you know, from, like, 10 to, like, a million. Um, but, man, I mean, every book I've read, some of the books, like Skywalker Family at War, those are great books. Uh, the Phasma book, the Poe Dameron Freefall book, which kind of explains the whole... Um, Spice Runners of Kajimi type thing. Lots of great stuff. Anyway, um, again, tell me in the comments down below what your favorite Star Wars film is. Uh, Star Wars film is, I can't even talk. And uh, also, if you have any issues with the LEGO Star Wars game. Again, hopefully we'll get some news soon about a patch. Uh, whenever we do, I'll let you guys know. But hey, try to stay positive. It's kind of hard today because all I wanted to do was play this game. And yes, there's new DLC. And yes, there's this. It's just, my love for the game kind of died because it's just Flicker City. It's like seizure-inducing crap. But anyway... Um, you know, it is sad. We need a patch soon. I've said that enough, and hopefully you guys, you know, I, I really feel uh, bad for some people that can't even play the game. And then there's other people who are like, oh, I have no problems. I don't know. You know, I wish I was one of you. You know, I wish I didn't have any problems. I wish the sky didn't bombard me with flickering every five seconds. But still, 
Uh, you know, I really, uh, like I said, this either turned out to be a good video or a horribly downer video, but again, <laughs> it'll be said. But again, happy Star Wars Day. Again, all this stuff will be down below. Make sure to go check all that stuff out. Subscribe if you're new. If you want me to talk about any kind of Star Wars related content, anything at all, uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. And hey, maybe I'll make a video about it. Uh, you know, I got a lot of college stuff. I wrote in Disney soon. I'm going to have a video about that. So again, Lots of great stuff coming up on the channel. Cannot wait to cover it. And again, happy Star Wars Day. Hopefully we'll get this uh, patch soon. But until then, there's a lot of great stuff about Star Wars from the movies to the comics to the video games that work to the books to the TV shows to all this new you know, awesome stuff coming up with like Obi-Wan Kenobi. Bad Batch Season 2 apparently is coming out soon. And uh, you know, it's just a great time to be a Star Wars fan. I think Star Wars um, is at an all-time high in terms of where we're at. And I think Disney is doing a great job. Lucasfilm's doing a great job. And I cannot wait to see where the future lies for this fantastic franchise that is Star Wars. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.